up everyone it's will with very great software and in today's video we're going to be setting up firebase and what that's going to entail is we're going to give an option to our users to sign in with which is just going to be google secondly we are going to be uploading a function to firebase so that we can call that function from our chrome extension and then thirdly is we need to make an OAuth key in order for us to use that get auth token method referenced in the last video. So without further ado, all right, now I want you guys to head on over to console.firebase.google.com and you're going to be presented with a screen if like this, if you've right, if you guys have already used this before, if not, it might just be blank and it might ask you to add a project. Uh, don't worry about all of these. I already kind of made one. Um, it's actually fairly simple. You just give it a name and that's about it. I mean, it's, it's really easy. I shouldn't have to go over that with you guys. I already created one. But after you guys have set that up, now what we can do is we can go over to authentication. So what this is going to do is we're going to set this up so that people can sign in to our app using Chrome. So now that we're at this screen, you can see there's a bunch of different options, uh, email, phone, Google. Uh, for now, since we're going to be using the sync account on Google Chrome, we're going to be using Google, just Google. It should be fine. Click enable. All right, now that we have this enabled, we need to go and make an OAuth key so we can put that in the whitelist client IDs. So we're going to head over here and type in Google API Googly. Type in Google API dashboard. And then it should be this console.developers.google.com. Since I don't remember how difficult it was to create a project within here, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. So if you click on the upper right here, it should be like a manage project or something like that up here in the upper left. We're going to go ahead and create a new project, uh, give it a project name. As you can see, I have many, even though I don't really use them all. Um, so this is just going to be a test for you guys. Uh, organization, no. So you just click create. Pretty simple. I couldn't remember how difficult it was to actually create it. So now I'm back on my URL shortener project. And if we go here to credentials, now you'll see this page with a whole bunch of credentials. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an OAuth 2.0 client ID. Now we're going to need, this is important because we need this in order to call that method that I was talking about earlier, the get auth token method. So you would just go to here, create credentials and then OAuth client ID. And then for the application type, it'll be a Chrome app and then give it a name. It can be anything, doesn't matter. And then the application ID. So what this application ID is, is if we open up Chrome and then we head on over to the extensions. So what we're wanting is our app, right? So it's this one and we're gonna grab this ID. So you would grab this ID, whatever it is, it's gonna be different for all of us. And you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna click create and then it will then generate it for you. And then it's gonna show up here, whatever name you put it under. So after it creates it, all you have to do is just click on this copy button right here and then go over to Firebase. And then we are gonna paste that in to here and click add. And then click save. Great, so now we have a sign up method um, enabled. So people can actually use Google to sign into our Firebase project. All right, next is we're going to be creating a function and it's going to be very simple. It's just going to be a hello world function, something that we can call from our extension. So if we go over here to functions, um, and the reason why we're creating a function is because a function is a serverless um, application and basically it doesn't, it's not, ho it's not really hosted. Uh, it kind of is, but as soon as traffic hits a particular endpoint, this serverless function that we're creating is going to spin up the request is going to be sent into this function and then whatever it does and then it exits um, the function will then tear down so it's just like it's never actually running so let's click get started here um, and we will need to install this so we copy this command so you're going to need node.js um, i'm using node.js so i'm just going to be downloading the ltl 
All right, Node.js is installed. Now we should be able to open up the command prompt here and paste in. All right, so Firebase Tools is installed. Now we could continue. And then, yeah, so we're gonna have to CD over into our folder that has our project and we're gonna have to run these two. So, we'll go to desktop and then YouTube Chrome extension. Uh, you'll see here that uh, we have all of our stuff. And then, so we just do Firebase init. I guess we need to do Firebase login first. Yes. Uh, access. Continue as me. Yes. Login successful. Okay, so now let's do the init. And what we're doing is we're, go we're gonna use our arrow keys and we're gonna go to functions. Oh, whoopsie. I forgot you need, to, you need to press the space bar. So yes, space bar, continue. And then using an existing project and we are going down to URL shortener. And we're just gonna be using JavaScript. Uh, if we do TypeScript, then we're gonna have to do a bunch of more stuff. This is just to keep it simple. Uh, use ESLint to catch probable bugs. Um, sure, why not? Uh, you want to install dependencies with npm now? Yes, we do. Cool, so now that we have our Firebase function created, uh, now if we open up Visual Studio Code here, uh, you'll see that it created this Firebase RC. Um, so this is just saying to use the default project of URL shortener, Firebase JSON, um, just some linting stuff. You don't really need to worry about this. Um, we, we could probably go through this in another video, but it created this folder called functions. So instead of here, um, you can see it's kind of similar to how we have a manifest.json. There's a package.json, and this is for NPM and Node.js specifically. Um, so there's a bunch of different scripts here. And then if we go to index.js, this should be our function. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, setting up our Firebase project, as well as creating that OAuth key so that we can grab that auth token. In the next video, we're going to be actually expanding more on our Firebase function, making sure that we can pass in the token to it, and then hopefully getting to the point where we can decrypt it and then figure out the user's email so that we can then verify that they are subscribed. Why aren't you subscribed now? Peace.